If you, if, you, if you don't watch football, you might not know. You ain't got to watch football. This is just big news over the weekend. So, an NFL player who was 24 years old named Dwayne Haskins passed away. He got ran over by a dump truck, they say. He was trying to cross the road. They say he ran out of gas. Unfortunately, the dump truck wasn't able to slow down in time. So, horrific, horrific tragedy, right? Anybody would just think like, damn, very sad, 24 years old, long life to live. Um, he's in the NFL. I always think about shit like that too. Like when I see like even young rappers, they get killed. Um, like just their family. Like you, like you might be that person that's able to get your family to like a generational wealth status. And then you're the one that's there and you're actively, you know, providing that wealth. And then you pass. It's kind of like some people get pushed back into whatever life they are in. Right. So I think about stuff like that as well. Well, Adam Schefter, who is a NFL analyst or breaking news type person, he uh, took it upon himself to say, what did he say? What's the exact tweet? Pretty much he was just like, breaking news, Dwayne Haskins, former first round pick who couldn't get it together, couldn't get caught on with the Washington Redskins and the Pittsburgh Steelers, has passed away Saturday morning, ended up like, what does his struggles as a football player have to do with him dying? Why is that the first thing as a person that you, you know, it, I, I, I get if you're like, okay, well, I'm NFL analyst. I'm trying to correlate his death to the NFL. You ain't got to sell that. You could say Dwayne Haskins, former Ohio State superstar, first round pick for the Washington Redskins, now quarterback for the Steelers, has passed away uh, due to tragic traffic accident, family prayers, you know, family is in our prayers. I got to say, but no, he got to bring up the football shit, talk about how he struggles. And he did a respond. He did apologize. I didn't even hear this yet. But I do want to listen to what he got to say. I the death of Dwayne Haskins and the tweet that I posted this weekend. It was insensitive. It was a mistake. And I can assure you is not my intention. I wish I could have that tweet back. The focus should have been on Dwayne, who he was as a person, a husband, a friend, and so much more. I wanted to apologize to Dwayne's family, his friends, the players in the National Football League, and offer my condolences to everybody close to Dwayne. And in the way I failed Saturday, I wanted to turn people's attention to make sure that Dwayne is remembered properly. After his outstanding career at Ohio State. So okay, he's doing PR cleanup now. Now he's gonna now he's gonna say the things that probably should have been said during the tweet. And I don't even think Adam Schiff is like a horrible guy. I just think he's like, he was in job mode and he made a horrible mistake because I ain't gonna lie. I don't know how this will affect his breaking news thing. Maybe the people that he speaks to executives, they don't even really give a fuck about the players. So maybe that won't have no effect on them. But I feel like his relationship with players may take a bit of a hit to this. But this wasn't even the worst one, right? So we had Adam Scheffner that did this. And there was some guy who's like ex-Cowboys executive or something like that. He went on to be like, well, that's why he should have left school early. If he was in school, he wouldn't have been out there living that life. He was living to die. I'm like, bro, he's in Florida training for the NFL season. Who are you to say he's living a life to die when he's down there with his teammates, the running back, the wide receivers, training for the upcoming season, trying to this. He couldn't catch on shit y'all are talking about trying to make himself better, trying to do, you know, do better for the Steelers and organization and himself, you know, get better, get more money to your family, all things like that, tragically dies in a freak traffic accident crossing the thing because you ran out of gas. Why is that people's first thing? I don't want to get into race and, you know, things of that nature and white people have less empathy for black people. So when it's a black person, they don't really give a fuck. But if it was like Tom Brady, they'd have been, oh, my God, Tom Brady, the greatest score. Oh, oh my God. I don't really get into that. I kind of did briefly, but you, you catch my drift. They don't really care about the players. Does Brian made a statement? A lot of NFL players were very outraged about this, which rightfully so they should be. Because at the end of the day, Dwayne Haskins is one of them. And it kind of makes you look like, okay, look how they're talking about him. Damn, what happened? How do they talk about me when I die? How how will I be remembered by these? So quote unquote, like the, 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 the main people in media and the executives or former executives, like how will they speak about me when I, you know, cross onto the other side? And obviously they, you know, you see how they, how they do their shit. 
Adam is the woge of the NFL news. So hearing that tweet lost me. It's like, bro, that's not a, that's not the, I was watching Ian Rappaport, who's also like, I would say like a woge or whatever. He was talking about it on Pat McAfee show. And he was like, um, it is a struggle for us, like with the human aspect of people. He brought up just, he didn't bring up directly Dwayne Haskins. He was just like, even when it's like a player gets injured on the field, it's like you want to be the one to know the news and you want to be the one to know the story. You want to know like, oh, he broke his ankle three to six weeks, whatever the little news bits they put out. But as a human, it's like, damn, this man might just have a career ending injury or he's got to go through all these things, X, Y, and Z. And I'm sitting here texting him, hey, how's your injury? Hey, what's the, you know, I'm trying to get the scoop on you. But is that, a, is that humanizing or is that dehumanizing, Right. And I just think the way that they tweeted and, and even spoke the guilt, especially the Adam Sheffner shit. I don't think he's a fucked up guy. Like I think genuinely, I don't know. He thought that was, I don't know why he thought that was the route to go. Um, and I and I don't have a problem with players. You know, um, what is it called? Like get on his ass. I don't have a problem with that. But the Gil Brand guy, who's like <coughs> he's living. He was out there living to die. They were telling him he shouldn't t- stay in school. It's like, bro. He's been out of school for like three years, four years now. He would have graduated by now, regardless, and been in the NFL today. I just don't understand. I think because Gil Brandt doesn't know why he died or what he was doing when he was in Florida when he died. I think he's assuming. Like I said, I don't want to bring race to it, but I'm assuming he's thinking young black kid. He's probably down there doing some stupid shit. He probably died in some whatever type of way. When if you look at Dwayne Haskins' Instagram story from the day before, like I said, he's out there with Najee Harris who was the running back for the Steelers. Chase Claypool said they was out there training. They're getting ready for the upcoming season, but you got those disparaging things to say, which he doesn't work for the NFL anymore. But I honestly feel like if he did work for the NFL, there probably should have been some repercussions for him. Adam Scheffner, it's a fucked up tweet. He deleted it quickly and reposted what he should have posted in the beginning, but that's just the way, you know. Praise God, bro.